Hi, beloved. I know you have heard me talk about patriarchy here, the divine feminine here, and how important it is for us to get in sister circles. And I have been urging you guys to create those financial institution, grassroots organizations for women, a safe haven for women. We need more structures like that more than ever as we begin to focus on ourselves and heal and do what's best for us. I'm going to show you why I say this, the things that I have seen and have experienced. So let's see. Children, you know, I just went to the doctor, the gynecologist, and while I was in there, I met three young women that were just absolutely giddy. They were three college girls and they were having their tubes tied. And I was like, oh, I said, you know, what made y'all do this? And they said, it is these new laws. So it is working in the exact opposite. By trying to outlaw abortions for women, the women are just going and getting ourselves fixed. How do I know this? Well, let me tell you. When I went in to see my doctor, who was a young woman from India, and I start saying, hey, I've met these young ladies out there in the, in the lobby that were getting their tubes tied. And she said, you know, you would not believe how many young ladies we've had to come through here. And she says, and I said, really? I said, because when I was younger and I wanted to have my tubes tied, they would not do it. She goes, yes. Yeah. And I said, so when, uh, I said, and I'm glad that I don't have any children. I said, so whenever a woman says that they don't want to have children, she looked at me and said, we should believe them. I hugged her. I said, thank you so much. And she said, so many young ladies have been coming through there to get their tubes tied. And then she said, women that were like 40 and older, like my age, were asking for hysterectomies. Like they'd be like, I got a fiber, I can have a hysterectomy. And so it's like, women are making sure that we don't have children. Now, let me tell you the reason that they want to ban abortion. It is because these colored people, the corporations they want cheap labor and let me let you hear this because now they're saying it out loud so when you hear this i want you to listen to what this lawmaker is saying now he made a mistake he said two thousand he meant to say two hundred thousand but let's put that in there and let's see the reason why they want women to continue to have their babies that they don't take care of have killed two thousand babies since abortion became legal those are two thousand people in the state of Nebraska that could be working and filling some of those positions and we have vacancies. They're not here. Our state population has not grown except by those foreigners who have moved here or refugees who have been placed here. So now does it make sense? Control your reproductive organs. You can you can control your reproductive organs. You can protect yourself. Not only are you protecting your reproductive organs, but you're protecting your body. You know, you think about that, you know, uh, you know, a lot of times men won't even wash their ass. So do you really Why they don't wash their hands? And so something you need to protect yourself. Pills, get the, the shot if you can. And he always needs to be wearing protection because you don't know where that's been. And like I said, if they don't wash their hands or wipe their ass, why would you in a portal of your body, something that you can get sick and die from, why would you allow them to be able to play with your body? Control your reproductive organs. It's of the plan. Project 2025, when enacted under Trump presidency, would eliminate the Department of Education. This part of the executive branch enforces civil rights law, protecting black and brown people against discrimination without recourse. Title IX, which ensures that girls have equal access to sports, education, and opportunity, and would reset the definition of sex to mean only biological sex assigned at birth for all Americans. And while we all know public schools are struggling with less funding and a state-created shortage in some places of teachers, Project 2025 will decrease funding to public schools while increasing funding to religious education through the expansion of school choice policies by giving federal funds to states as block grants with no strings attached as to how those funds 
can be allocated. And also in regards to education, it's going to take away Pell Grants. Rights of women is a big focus of Project 2025, N not in regards to like protecting the rights of women, but in regards to aborting them like the rights. Project 2025 will re reverse FDA approval of methapristone, prohibit stem cell research, reverse the Biden administration's support for travel to get abortion health care, withdraw Medicaid funds for states that require abortion insurance, and mandate that the CDC track all abortions while collecting data about abortion, abortion survivors, and abortion-related maternal deaths. Not to mention what it will do in regards to divorce, in regards to a woman's legal rights regarding divorce, and also custody of children. Human rights for LGBTQ. I do apologize about the length of the video. I thought it was imperative that I share all that. And that that's not everything that I've seen. That's just a portion of it. And it was very insightful to see that very interesting uh, information. I thought it, it was worth sharing there. What the Great Mother has put in my spirit about this is that it is a, it is a good idea. We're going in the right direction to continue to do the healing on ourselves, to focus on ourselves, to decenter men, and to center on us. We have, you know, it's imperative that we kind of progress even more. We're getting these organizations, creating these grassroots organizations centered on women. Because as this progresses and the birth rates drop, it is a good idea to have things in order for a backup plan. And ladies, goddesses, queens, we're great at backup plans. So that is what is in my spirit. That is what the great mother, the ancient mother is putting in my spirit. And I hope this video was very insightful for you. I hope you gain some information and some insight behind it. If you're interested in more and want to know more about this, you can follow me on YouTube. You can join me over there in Patreon. But I am constantly working on this and providing more and more insight as we, well, what I like to say, embody this feminine energy. Because it's coming in here, this healing is going to happen, whether they want it or not whether we want it or not. That's what that COVID was about. And it's only going to kick up. So thank you for being here. Light, love, namaste, I say love.